Hello everyone, welcome to the DigiDev channel. In this video, we are going to learn about linear search algorithm. And this video is part of the course that I am going to create and I'm creating a video each week for this course. This course is completely free, is going to be uploaded on YouTube and uh, it's going to contain the data structure algorithms like searching, sorting and other stuff. So I'm gonna make each section a playlist so you can find them easily. Let's go through the video. So linear search is the most basic search that you can have and uh, I'm sure you are you already used it because anyone that is learning programming the first search that they are writing is linear search but it's good that we go through the behind the scene algorithm that it is using so that you can understand it better so let's say that we have an array of integer of 10 columns each column has a number and an index and we want to find number 22 inside this array Array. The way that linear search is going to find 22 is by first going through index 0, then if the value of index 0 was equal to the value that we want, it will return it. If it wasn't, it will go to the next index and it will repeat the process until it reaches the value that we want. You can also implement linear search backwards. So it can start from the last index and it will subtract one value from the index until it reaches the value that we want. So let's implement it inside our code. Here, as you can see, I have created an array and I have an empty class. In this class, we are going to write our search algorithms so I can upload them on GitHub for you so we can go see the code for yourself. <coughs> First, let me zoom in and all right, now it's better. So inside the search class that we have, I want to create a method called public int linear. And this method is going to get an array of integer from me. Let's call it array. And it is going to also get a key from me. And this key is the value that we want to search through the array. All right. Now for using linear search, we just need a for loop and it is going to be i equals zero until i is less than array.length, add one to the i variable that we have. We also can write it like this. So we're gonna say until i is not equal to array.length and here we should, let's close the curly bracket. And also here we can say until i is not equal to array.length. But, but since array.length is more than the number of indexes that we have, we should say array.length minus one. And let me explain that. Here when we have an array, you can see it is starting from zero and it is ending at nine. So we have 10 columns. So the index will end at nine, but we do have 10 columns. So array.length would give us number 10, but we just have have until number nine because it is starting from zero. So inside our code, we should say until it is not equal to length minus one because the i integer that we have here is representing the index of our variable. Now here we want to say if the array of index i, the value of this index was equal to the value of our key, what we want to do is to return i, which is the index that the value is inside. You can see below our method is a red line. It is because our method is of type integer and we are using a for loop and the return that we have written is inside an if statement. So what if the if statement is not true? and it is not returning anything. We can't have that because any method that have a specified variable type should return something. So what if the key that the user has sent was not inside our variable? So we can do many things. One of them is to return minus one. So if we have sent a value and it returned minus one, we know that the index that we want hasn't been found. And you might say, well, this is of type integer. Isn't minus one an integer? Well, yes, minus one is integer. But since we are searching through the indexes and an index of an array can't be minus one. And because of that, we will not encounter any kind of problem. But if you want, you can also make the integer nullable and here return null. It's the same and it doesn't matter. So let's save it and go into our program. Let's see. Yes, here we have the integer array of numbers and inside console.write line, let's create a new instance of our search 
class. Let's include the namespace. And here we want to use the linear method. And inside the method, we're going to put numbers and I'm going to send the key of seven as well. So seven is index three, zero, one, two, three. And if we run our application, it should return us three. All right. I don't, I don't know if you can see that here. Yeah. Number three has been returned. So that's it for linear search. In the next video, we are going to learn about bubble search. And that's a very, very more optimized way for searching through a list. Thank you for watching until now. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any other feature videos. Thank you. Bye bye.